Hi guys. Hi. How are you doing? Did you miss me? Because I definitely missed you. My name is Hilda Bassi. Welcome to my channel. And if you like what you see here, make sure you like, share, subscribe. You know, I'm trying to get all the formalities out of the way because I'm actually super excited about today's recipe. Seafood okra. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make seafood okra. And the reason why I decided on that recipe is because a lot of us tend to struggle with making the perfect seafood okra. We don't know when to put the fish. We don't know when to take it out. We don't know how long we should be cooking the prawns for, you know, and all those small, small technicalities here and there. So I just felt, you know, why not just show them how to do this? I know, right? I'm amazing okay so if you've been struggling with making seafood okra that looks great and tastes great then this is the video for you because trust me after this video you're going to you're going to be a seafood okra pro okay so stick around because i am going to be teaching you how to make the best seafood okra let me stop talking let's get to cooking because i'm excited so the first thing we're going to do is the pepper mix for this soup and for the pepper mix we're just using onions and scotch bonnets and you want to blend this in a food processor or a rough consistency blender and that's because it adds in making your okra colorful then i'm going to be boiling some snails i'm using about five snails i'm going to be using stock flakes which is basically stock fish but the fleshy part i'm adding my pepper mix and also some seasoning cubes i'm also adding um lobster heads because this has a lot of flavor you want to season this mix very well with enough water because this water is what you're going to be using to make your seafood okra and you want to boil this for about 12 minutes so you want to let it come up to a boil check on it then cover lightly while you work on your okra so i always advise that when you're you know making okra if you can't store your okra successfully in the fridge then you want to buy the okra a day before or on the day that you want to be cooking so that it is fresh and green now i cut my okra into two places this is what i call my safety net okra and it's thinly sliced and this is what i call my capital investment okra so i'm going to be pounding my capital investment okra and i pound it because i prefer the consistency i get from pounding as opposed to blending now once i'm done pounding this is what i'm going to have and at this point my snail and stock flakes is ready so you want to take this away and take out the lobster head because it has done its job so in a pot or a pan you want to use a wide base pan so that your fish can cook perfectly you're going to put in some oil and then the other half of your pepper mix give this a good stir for about 10 seconds then i'm adding two seasoning cubes and that is because my you know um snail stock is already properly seasoned so i'm going to also add in my snail stock and the snails and the stock flakes and i'll just give this a light stir and then i'm going to be putting in my fish so i decided to use fresh croaker fish and that's because this fish literally cooks in three to four minutes and i think it would be a good illustration to show you guys that you can actually make this without scattering it then i'm going to be putting in my crabs because i'm using crabs to make the seafood okra and once i do that i'm just going to add in a little bit of crayfish a little bit because you can actually even do without the crayfish i just really like the extra you know flavor that it adds to this recipe so you're going to cover this for one minute emphasis on one minute and then you just check on it i gave this the fish a quick flip but you don't have to do that so once you do that you just want to cover the pot for another two minutes i'm not even joking in three minutes and 30 seconds or four minutes this fish is perfectly cooked so you would now take out the fish and put it in another bowl this is because you want to easily go through your okra without having to worry about scattering the fish so this is what we have we've gotten our fish flavor and our fish is perfectly cooked we're going to continue with our seafood okra i'm going to be adding in the prawns the lobsters and the shrimps and once you do that you're going to put in a bit of water that depends on the quantity of okra that you're actually making this is another delicate thing because this also cooks in about three minutes so once you give this a good mix you want to cover the pot and allow it to cook for one minute i'm not even joking if you need to time yourself do that then we're going to be introducing our capital investment okra 
once we introduce our capital investment occur you just want to mix this thoroughly now you know that the process of mixing this will take about 30 seconds so your okra your lobster your shrimps and your prawns are cooking once you put in the okra you don't want to cover the pot anymore because you don't want your okra to change color and you don't you know want it to not be slimy so at two minutes your prawns your lobsters your shrimps is actually you know nicely cooked not overcooked it's just perfect we are now going to be introducing our safety net okra so once you put in your safety net okra you just want to mix this around for like 10 seconds and then we're going to be adding in our uziza leaves so you can use any other kind of leaf you can use you know spinach you can use ugu you know you can use any other kind of leaf but most importantly once you put in the leaves and you give this a good mix you want to take it off fire because it is cooked it is done it is ready to serve hallelujah then i'm going to be serving this in my clay pot please for those of us that are probably wondering there's no fire there i'm not trying to cook it longer i'm just putting it here to serve for effect so i'm going to put my fish and then i'm going to serve the okra i mean are you not salivating where you are as you're watching this thing because me that cooked it i couldn't even wait don't forget to like subscribe share comment if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section if you have suggestions or meals you want me to make you know feel free to let me know in the comment section easy peasy lemon squeezy right let me know in the comment section are you going to be trying this recipe what did you like most about this recipe and also what other recipes would you like to see me make until my next video cook with love bye bye